Hey everybody, just doing a little bit of an update on what I've gotten so far. Um, this drawing, you know, I, I did a lot of using colored pencils. And those colored pencils, um, you can leave it as it is, or you can use water, and it kind of becomes like paint. Um, I've seen that... Um, when you do use the water on top of the pencil, it kind of mixes all the colors together. And sometimes you lose a little bit of that blending. So what I did was I added the water and then I went over it again with pencil. Um, and I have some of the highlights. When I wanted to make the highlights and the legs a little bit more subtle, I just kind of used a very watery um, brush with white, almost like a whitewash. And I love, I love uh, doing my art in um, lots of layers. So, like, all this blue here was done with pencil, and um, here you can see this more intense. That's acrylic paint, but I did fill in with pencil, like here, to create a darker line. I'm just gonna let that dry, and then use a very slightly damp brush um, to to blend that a little bit and then you know if I don't like it it's okay I just can go over it again and I'm creating um, you know all these layers and even if the bottom layer come layer comes through really subtly to the top it, it I think it has a very powerful um, effect and as far as it's so subtle, you can't quite put your hand, put you know, put your hand on what makes that area feel the way it does. And to me, that's really powerful. Um, and I just want to show here, this, her hair is not going to be yellow, but I put down, I had some very old paint that I bought on sale at Michael's like a year ago, and it really got really dry so I use that as a bottom layer to create some texture to the hair and I'm going to be going over that but I'll probably be going over that with white first you know and then building up a few layers to just create a lot of texture and then um, going over it maybe with a pencil and paint and then of course when I do that and then I wet it some of the white will come up to the surface, which will be really cool because it'll it'll give it um, a very kind of muted, dreamy, fuzzy type effect. Um, and here I did, you see how it, it almost looks like she has some kind of clear um, shield. What I did here was... Um, this is all on the bottom, all pencil. And when I wet, you know, when I, when I went over it with a wet brush, it just intensifies the color of the pencil. So then I went over with a very large brush, again with the um, white paint, but very, very wet, almost like a whitewash. And I just stroked over it and it just, you know, got this beautiful effect here where you, there's almost like a clear energetic field and of course, it, you know, it, it, um, almost like a magnifying glass or like water where it'll, if it's thicker or thinner in one place, it'll change what's underneath it. So I was gonna, so like the arm, you see, it's not exactly a straight line. <clears throat> I was going to straighten it out, but I realized if I do that, I'm going to bring the arm forward in front of this effect I have here and like so I'm just gonna leave that because it really looks like there's some kind of force field or water or something over her arm and it changes the edges of her body because water is like a magnifying glass um, and it does change um, any any uh, structures that are under it um, 
this whole flower thing, I was so inspired by um, the photo shoot that Beyonce was in. I believe she was the first African-American woman that was on the front of Vogue. Um, you know, and just watching Beyonce in her new um, virtual uh, album, Black is King. Um, there's, there's such an amazing subtlety of power and, and surrender, you know, um, so, yeah, so that's how it's going so far. I am so enjoying this, um, and I will keep you updated slowly, and, and I'm just learning so much, just experimenting, you know, just, don't be afraid to experiment because you can always go over it. And some of um, the paintings that I've loved the most, I've been in the middle of it saying like, oh my gosh, I hate what I did. But don't give up. Keep on working on it. Keep on um, envisioning different things and trying different things. That painting and pencil and artwork is so... Um, it, it, it's so malleable. You, you don't have to worry about making mistakes. Just create and feel and be in the moment. Okay, well, this is me signing off. Much love and a special, special love to my first soulmate, my son Michael Abraham Soto, my absolute sweetheart. Okay.